Hello, today we're going to be doing a brief overview of the Tenzig Manager console. This will be the initial steps that we typically set up after the installation is completed. Uh, if you need the video for the installation, the link should be below. Now, the first thing we're going to want to consider is the device discovery. So how are we going to get the devices into the console? Now, you may open up the Tenzig Manager console, and if you have some devices already on the network, you may see them already discovered. Now, our preferred method is to use DNS SRV records, so the devices automatically check into the console. Um, and there should be a link to that video below on how to create those records. We're not going to cover that on this video. But if you need to go in and actually set up a manual discovery, we can do that simply from the console. We go to Tools in the menu bar. We click on Settings and go to the Discovery tab. And this is where we can define the IP ranges that we want to have uh, discovered for Tenzig devices. Um, so you can see here I already have a couple defined. If you need to add a new one, you can click on the plus sign and set up those ranges. Once your ranges have been defined, go ahead and click the binoculars, and this will initiate a search for those networks. Now, once you have some devices discovered uh, in your console, the next thing that we usually set up is a default group. Now you can see that we have on the left hand side, we have a thin clients group, which is a, serves as the catch all default group for discovery. Underneath the thin clients group, we're going to want to go ahead and create a base group. In this case, we'll call it demo. And in the demo group, we can actually um, define some rules for auto discovery. So we could have devices automatically join a demo group based off of OS, based off IP address, based off Mac filter. Um, so where this comes in handy is if you have different sites, if you have different departments that have different IP ranges, uh, you can set up those rules for auto uh, joining the groups. Now, once a device joins a group on the configure client configuration tab, we can define what happens to that device. So we can apply a template, we can auto update the firmware, and we can also have the device renamed. Now from the groups, we also have the capability of assigning schedule tasks. So we can create a schedule task. So if I wanted to set up a reboot job um, for the, every weekend, we could do that. We have the ability to power on, power off the devices, as well as push out updates, firmware changes, those um, as well as resetting to factory default. Okay, so if we wanted to set up a reboot, we could go ahead and get that scheduled through this interface. A lot of the capabilities from the console will be reached through the right-click menu. So right-clicking on a device, you can see it brings up quite a few options. Uh, so we have the ability to do the scheduled task. We have the ability to power, manage the units, we have the ability to modify the device configurations and to build templates. We also have the ability to update the firmware as well as shadow the devices with VNC. Now double clicking on a device will bring up the, the individual unit's specific configuration. So we can see here by double clicking on this device, uh, I can now manipulate a lot of the settings that are uh, local to the device. So if I need to modify the local password, I can come in and I can do that. If I need to modify a time zone, we can do that as well. Those are just some examples. The next thing I'll usually do is build a default template. So once I have a device configured and connected to my environment, uh, I'm going to want to capture those settings into a template so I can apply that to other units. So we can do that through the configuration menu. So by right clicking on the device, going to configuration and generate template, we can actually build a template off this unit. So we'll call this demo three, we'll hit okay. And we'll pull that template in. Okay. Now that I have the demo three template created, uh, I'm now able to apply that 
to either the group or to another device through the configuration menu and apply template. Okay. Now, if you installed it, the Tenzig Manager also comes with a web console. So we'll go ahead and log in and you'll see that it looks very similar to the standard MMC console that we were just working in. Uh, the web console uh, is very similar in functionality, not, not 100%, uh, about 90% features uh, in the web console, but it's great for day-to-day -day management, as well as um, sharing Tenzig management uh, with a help desk uh, or other admins. Now we can also define roles um, through the Tenzig manager role administration. So going into the role administration, we can actually set up, we can define rules for different users and different groups. By clicking on the plus sign, I can come in and I can add a user. And I can define what that user can and can't do inside of the console. So I can assign him rights to do certain functions and I can save that by clicking on the button. And that concludes the high-level overview of the Tenzig Manager console. Uh, please reach out to us if you need any help or assistance with getting your Tenzig environment stood up and configured. Thank you very much for your time.